morning today i would like to talk about a situation that happens a lot in my open houses lately and that is if i am holding an open house on one of my listings the buyers come to the house and they don't have a realtor that represent them and they ask me to represent them on the purchase of this house that i represent the seller on and of course i say i can't do this and they ask me why can't i do this and the uh, response from me would be it's a huge conflict of interest i am working with the seller i am representing the seller's best interest and you are as a buyer you have to have a realtor that represents your best interest as well so uh working with the seller i have worked a lot with them to prepare the house for the market and my job is to negotiate the best price the highest price and the terms that protect them you as a buyer has to have a realtor that works for you and gets you the best price and gets you the best terms as a buyer you will have to have put a deposit in escrow and once you get in contract this deposit is protected by so many terms and conditions so you have to have a realtor that knows when to remove those conditions those conditions and to protect your deposit in escrow um, so do you see why i'm saying this it's the most the biggest transaction in anybody's life as a seller or as a buyer so each one of them the buyer and the seller has to have a realtor that advocates for them um me doing the job for the buyer at the seller and the seller at the same time representing both of them at the same time it's not right for none of them it's imagine this two big companies hire the same legal team that works for both of them that's not going to happen the legal team is not going to do a good job so that's why the seller has to have a realtor and the buyer has to have a realtor and each one of those realtors have to negotiate what's best for their client um, i hope that was helpful and if you have any questions please reach out this is heba ryan with coldwell banker in danville thank you